All right, Monday night in Kona. Jason Lester at Jason Lester on Twitter.com. And uh, Rich Roll here. We're at uh, Kona Natural Foods. We do a little shop here for uh, the uh, Ultraman Ground Zero Training Center, otherwise known as uh, Shea Jason Lester. So we don't need too many things, but we thought we would uh, come into the local uh, natural market here, see what we can find. Talk a little nutrition. Maybe I'm gonna a interview. I'm gonna interview and, uh, Rich about why he puts healthy living foods into my body so that I could feel healthy and vibrant. Everybody has different nutrition plans. Avocados. So yeah, let's get some. Uh, get a few avocados. Rich is big on avocados. He's the only guy that I know that will eat like two and three avocado sandwiches. At night. Why are they so small? Like Apple bananas. What are they? Apple bananas. Ah, uh, this is the. Almost out of this. We might not want to show them that. I know. Because if we show, the, if we're we letting sh the secret out of the yeah, bag. Yeah. Now you're gonna let them know the, what the secret uh, is. Secret weapon of all endurance athletes. You Super promised me that you were gonna just keep that between us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you're gonna tell them? Okay. All right. So maca, as uh, Rich calls it, decine mm -hmm. or. Um, Prana. So a couple things about juice. We use juice for uh, our uh, Vitamixes in the morning, just no, mainly for uh, flavor, for flavor and stuff like that. Because one thing that everybody needs to know about juice is, despite what a lot of the labels will say about super high in antioxidants or etc., every juice that you buy in the store is either pasteurized or flash pasteurized, right. and what that means is it basically destroys a large percentage of the nutritional value of basically every juice you're going to buy. So I don't drink too much store-bought juices. I'd rather make my own juice that's not pasteurized. But, you know, still drink some of this just for flavor purposes. But just don't be under the impression that you're getting all the antioxidants and things that uh, some of these products advertise. Well, these are organic juices, so these are good. You know, I always choose organic. But, you know... Most juice is, is basically sugar. That's what it is. That's right. Soy products. Um, I try to avoid soy products. I mean, I'll have them from time to time, and I'll eat tofu, but I try to not eat too much soy. This is a, another secret weapon that Rich introduced. And these this, these people also make uh, coconut uh, coconut milk kefir. It tastes like a milkshake. Have you ever tried this stuff? Really good for you super nutritious and detoxifying. Sprouted wheat bagels. Yeah. Why sprouted? Um, because the more that uh, the wheat is refined, the less nutritious it is for you. So I try to eat mostly gluten-free products, but I'll have some wheat from time to time. But if you're going to get uh, wheat products, you should try to at least get the whole grains, the sprouted grains. They're less refined, and the more the nutritional value is still. We've balanced. killed like about four of those bags in the last and week, then, uh, and we're really big on hemp bread. What is that? Hemp bread? They're all they gluten, are all these are all sorts of gluten-free type bread products, which are good. They're either made with <coughs> rice or spelt or uh, or hemp. I'll do I'll do rice of, bread. Uh, refined flours. The wheat, uh, yeast, and gluten tend to cause inflammation, which impedes recovery. Right. So you don't want to eat too much of that kind of stuff. Here's the gluten-free cereal that um, I am big on. It looks like they are, here we go, here's wheat-free, gluten-free, cornflakes. It's gluten-free because it's a corn product, not a wheat product. Let's talk soups. One of our other uh, black beans. I eat tons of black beans. Super high in uh, protein. So I polish off like four or five of these a week. And we're also big on organic gluten-free pasta. So this is pasta that's made with brown rice instead of uh, wheat products. So it's gluten-free. Basically, tastes almost exactly the same. And uh, 
you don't get that sort of heavy uh, feeling after you eat it, like you got to take a nap. So, great source of uh, replenishing your glycogen stores, complex carbohydrate, good stuff. This stuff is the bomb. Quinoa. This is an excellent uh, source of carbohydrate and it's a good protein source actually. So this has, let's see, one serving, which is a quarter cup, has six grams of protein. For, so for those of you who don't think uh, plant-based foods are good sources of protein, check this out. You can also use this as a breakfast cereal to put blueberries and uh, coconut milk on it. Blueberries and coconut milk. There's our olive oil. Bragg's is a good product. Bragg's they they also product. make something called uh, Bragg's Liquid Aminos. Oh, it's right here. So check this out. This stuff basically tastes like soy sauce, um, but super high in amino acids. So when you're eating a plant-based diet, you want to make sure you're getting a complete amino acid profile so you can uh, build those proteins and rebuild your muscles. So this works great as like a salad dressing. Um, and uh, it's like uh, a protein supplement, basically. So Bragg's, Bragg's is a really good brand. It has we some really have good products. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> stuff is the best. So basically, what this is is it's essentially uh, plant-based mayonnaise. So it's egg-free, dairy-free. Do you want to give them a little fact, secret, uh, secret on what you do with that stuff? <laughs> eat it by the spoonful at night. So, uh, I actually think it tastes better than mayonnaise, and uh, what it is, is it's made with sunflower oil instead of, uh, instead of dairy products. Um, no it's eggs. It's delicious and uh, dairy-free, um, and label a good source, of, uh, good source of, of, of good fats that are good for you. I polish one of these off on like a week, every week. So he like it slaps and gobs of it on um, have, sprouted tortillas. We yep, one. we're cool. Almond butter. Here's a question for you. What's that? Crunchy or creamy? Oh, I'm all about crunchy. Yeah. All right. And that's our crunchy. secret too on the bike. Day two, Ultraman. Almond butter sandwiches with the gava. Don't tell me. That's about. good. Oh, uh, you know what we need? What's that? Coconut water. Coconut water. Do they have that here? We got it here in the can. Unfortunately, we don't have it in the carton. Okay. And why do we like coconut water? Coconut water is a good source of electrolytes after you train. That's right. And we'll actually go grab some. Oh, there you go. There's some coconut water. Coconut water. You think in the we're in here in Hawaii? There would just be coconuts everywhere that you could just buy and drink out of them. But... Here, I got something funny for you guys. I'm like, Rich, we don't have coconut water here in the carton. He goes. Why don't you just go up and just grab a coconut out of the tree and just pop a hole in it and just drink it? Here's how about how about we kombucha. treat ourselves to a you want a kombucha? Yeah, I think we're gonna go tree allergy. Good stuff. Yeah, GT Dave began bottling kombucha in '95 after his mother's success from drinking it during her battle with breast cancer. He's a young kid, a young guy starting. How about some flax oil? We got tons of it already, but this stuff is great. How about hemp oil? We got that too. Hemp oil. We put hemp oil and hemp flax oil, oil in our oil, shakes. Great for your uh, omega threes and essential fatty acids. The good fats that you need, uh, especially when you're an endurance athlete and it's all about training your engine to burn fat. Uh, you got to eat fat, and uh, these fats are good for you. So fat can be your friend if you're smart about the fats that you're eating. Let's talk about hemp protein. I like hemp protein because uh, it has a broad amino acid profile, it's alkaline forming, it's easily absorbable into your body and uh, great for recovery. Speaking of recovery, let's go eat. Let's do it. Alright. So hey, here. thanks for stopping by with us again guys. We will continue to bring you with us along our journey to the, the Ultraman world championships yeah let's go to the farmers market in the next couple days and we'll bring you guys down there and show you how we load up on uh, fresh mangoes bananas right. roll dog we're out of here it's time to go grub thanks for stopping by we will catch up to you guys manana aloha